What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight... Tonight! Okay, making their debut on the channel tonight. Tonight! We have Sakura Gakuin. Yes, indeed, how about that? Sakura Gakuin making their debut on the channel. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined and doing all the clicks and the likes and the bibbity boobity bob, do me a favor before you do all that stuff, please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from SCL, and it was also the winner of the Patreon request prioritization poll, winning with 57% of the vote. Uh, moving up from number 698 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. They all want to see me react to this song. It is Sakura Gakuin with My Graduation Toss. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, hang on, I recognize this song. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I was given a lot of information about this and about what I'm about to watch. Um. From what I remember, from what I saw in the comments, what I read in the comments, what I've been told, um, this is basically uh, from Baby Mel, the lead singer, Sue. Th this was her starting point. Th this, is, this is the group that she started with. And this is her last performance with that group before she graduates onto bigger and better things. Um, I, I hear it. Here's the thing, and this is such a double-edged sword. I understand people want to give me context, and that's wonderful, and that's great, but I'm curious. I'm, I'm asking this, I'm not trying to be, you know, cynical, I'm not trying to be sarcastic. I'm asking this as a genuine question. To you, the listeners, and to you, the viewers, what is more entertaining? Watching me go in, Knowing what's going to happen, having any surprises possible be ruined by telling me what's going on, giving me all the context, and taking away all those opportunities, or having me go in 100% blind, and either I'm going to catch the things or I'm not, and I'm either going to be surprised by it or I'm going to completely miss it, at which point I make a fool out of myself, which can be entertaining in its own right. Um, you know, and, and just going in completely blind without any type of heads up or any type of warning whatsoever. Which do you find more entertaining? Okay, I, I'm, I'm genuinely curious because I see both sides of the coin here. I do see the value of both sides of the argument. So is it better for you, the viewers, that I be informed and ruin any possible surprises? Or is it better for me to go in 100% blind? Maybe I'll catch the surprise or maybe I won't. Which one to you, the viewers, which one is more valuable? Which one do you guys prefer to see? I'm genuinely curious. And your responses down in the comments may very well shape the future of the channel. So think about it hard and really evaluate your answer and make sure it's the answer you want to give before you give it because i read every single comment and if i if i get the feeling from reading the comments that you guys would rather have it one way or the other then 
Maybe I just might make that a mandate. You know, I, I don't know. It's up to you guys. Like I've always said, this is your channel. I just run it, but this is ultimately your channel, guys. If you want certain things, I'm gonna do everything I can to make those certain things happen within reason, of course. So anyway, yes, I'm well aware of what's gonna happen in this video. I know that there's this, you know, promotion of sorts. Um, apparently a lot of tears were shed on stage. Um, yeah, I, I was told all of this. So um, it, apparently it's a very emotional thing and that's pretty much all I got, but it's still a lot, guys. I know who to look for, so there's that. Anyway, this was posted by uh, Kinesi, or Kinesi, K-I-N-I-C-Y. Take that for what it's worth. And the video has 16,966 views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say, are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Sakura Gakuin, my graduation toss, RTG 2012 remastered video. Cool. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this. Sakura Gakuin class of 2012, dismissed. Hey! See that one girl on the side trying to recompose herself. You saw her come up to the front when their heads touched. She started to kind of break down. You saw that. And you could hear it in her voice. Her voice cracked like she was about to just lose it. She was about to start crying. Uh, yeah, she's, she's got to get herself composed. <laughs> now, having said that, clearly vocals are live. They're not lip syncing. You can tell that the vocals are definitely live. Um... And there's multiple voices. And the number of voices that I'm hearing looks accurate. Like when I see four ladies singing on the mic, it sounds like four voices to me. So this is not, I'm surprised to say, this does not look like a lip sync job. This this looks legit singing. Um, Yeah, I couldn't help but recognize Sue right away. As soon as, as soon as she turned and she smiled and she waved, I was like, that's, that's her, that's her. Um. Let's keep going. I, I, it, it's too early for me to say some other things. Let, let's keep going and let's see where this goes. Voices. 
Uh oh, starting to see some more uh, faces. <laughs> With those downward smiles, upside down smiles, and starting to see some eyes well up more and more often. I mean, look, when you perform with a group, and I know this from past experience, when you perform with a group for a long time, years, like, not months, guys, it's got to be years that you work with this group. Attachments are going to be formed. Relationships are going to be formed. Bonds are going to be formed. And when that project ends, when that group ends, when that band ends, and you all go your separate ways, it's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. But here's the thing. Usually when bands break up, it's because somebody... Somebody screwed someone over, you know, somebody cheated on someone else's wife or somebody stole somebody's girlfriend or somebody found out that one of the band members is making more money than the other. And, you know, that's usually the big one. Uh, you know, there, there's, there's all these things that cause the group to break up in anger. This is a totally different situation. This is a graduation. This is a this is one of those things that they know is coming. They know it's going to happen. And it's not anybody's fault. It's just, this is just the end of the road. And they don't have a choice in the matter. They, they have to get to leave the nest. Get out. Boom. Kick them out of the nest. Fly. You know, fly and make your own way in the world. And you're in a situation where now you are no longer going to be in that group with these people that you have formed these bonds with, that you have formed these relationships with. And all of a sudden, it's ending. Not by choice, not out of anger, not out of spite, but just because their time is up. That has got to be hard. That absolutely has got to be hard. I don't think I've ever faced myself in that situation. I don't think I ever have. No, I, no, I've never, no, no, not, not, not that exact situation. That's, that's tough, man. That, I can't imagine, I can't imagine how depressing that might be for a lot of these girls. And like right here, I think her face pretty much says it all. She's trying to smile, man. She is, but. The tears are coming. The tears are absolutely coming. Yeah, it's rough. She is out of tune. <laughs> and I know why. I know why she's out of tune, boy. She is doing everything in her power to keep it together. You can see it in her face. You can hear it in her voice. Her voice is breaking left and right. And it's because she is on the verge of tears. Um, yeah, she is very out of tune. <laughs> but you know what? In a situation like this, 
I hate to say it, you, you kind of have to give it a pass. You, I, I kind of have to give it a pass. Look, I'm not completely heartless, okay? Get that hippie out of the ring! I'm not that much of an a-hole. I mean, look, don't get me wrong. I am an a-hole, and I absolutely acknowledge it, and I embrace it, okay? I, I, I'm not even trying to deny that I'm, not, that, that I'm an a-hole. That's the fact, Jack! That's the fact, Jack! But at the same time, I'm not completely 100% heartless either. That's the truth! So, do I hear that she's singing out of tune? Oh yeah, it's blatantly obvious. Am I gonna hold it against her? In this situation, no, I'm not. She gets a pass. This time! Your thoughts. <laughs> what?! This time, she gets a pass. But that's it. Ah. Look at the tears! Uh, yes, yes, your anguish sustains me. Yes, yes, your tears sustain me. <laughs> oh, man. That must be rough. That must be brutal. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Um... No, I'm gonna say everything. Everything. I'm gonna save it all for the review. Everything I want to say right now. I'm gonna save it. You suck. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna make you guys wait. That's right. <laughs> all right. Uh, why? Cause I'm a sadist. <laughs> Not only am I an a-hole, I'm a sadist. <laughs> all right. Um, let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. There you go, folks. That was Sakura Gakuin with My Graduation Toss. This was a request from SCL, and it was also the winner of the Patreon Request Partization Poll, winning with 57% of the vote. Moving for number 698 in the queue, straight up to number one. So yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen, your voice, your vote does matter. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Well, look, everything that everybody told me before I watched this, everything came to pass. Almost. There was one thing that wasn't quite accurate. Um, everybody told me who was involved. Okay, everybody told me that Sue from Baby Metal was in this. Okay? Now, having said that, though, now maybe they said this in the comments and I missed it. it that is possible. But I do not remember anywhere in the comments anybody saying anything about Yui and Moa being in there. Don't think I didn't see them. Don't think I didn't catch that. And don't think I didn't catch that part about two thirds of the way through the video where you had Sue in the middle, Yui on the right, Moa on the left. Don't think I didn't catch that. I saw it. I saw it. I think it was Yui on the right and Moa on the left. Maybe it was the other way around. But don't think I didn't catch that. 
I saw the three of them together. I absolutely caught that. Uh, it was brief. It was only for like two seconds, but I did see it. Don't think I didn't catch it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't remember anybody telling me in the comments that Yui and Maul were in the same class. So I, I see now that the process, yes. So basically, from what I'm understanding here, Sakura Gakuin is basically like a trade school, okay? You're gonna go here, you're gonna learn this craft, you're gonna work on this craft, perfect it as much as you can, and then you're gonna go out into the world and make your way. You know, there's a lot to be said about trade schools. I know everybody's got this thing about, oh, you need a high school diploma. Oh, you need to go and take these classes and you need to make sure that you fulfill your obligations in, in high school and you have to take all these classes in order to graduate. Says who? Listen. <laughs> If you're going to be a mechanic, right? If you're going to be a mechanic, if you're going to work on cars for a living, it's your passion. It's what you're passionate about. And you know it's what you want to do with your whole life. Then why in the world, I'm, I'm being dead serious here. Why in the world do you need to take biology? I'm serious. Why do you need to? It's a waste of time. You know what you're going to do with your life. Take trade school. There, I, I know that... I, I know there's not a lot of trade schools out there. I am a strong advocate of trade schools. Strong advocate. Why waste your time taking a bunch of classes that are never gonna help you with your career later in life when you could be spending that time working on your trade, working on your craft, perfecting your craft. So when you do graduate, you're ready to go. Rather than waste your time spinning your wheels learning a bunch of subjects in high school that are gonna do you absolutely no good in the, in, the, in the modern world. I don't get it. I really don't understand. Rather than teaching, rather than making trigonometry and calculus a requirement. Now look, if you're gonna be an engineer, okay, yeah, you might need those. It, it might be a good idea to take those classes. But if you're gonna be like a music instructor or if you're gonna be, um, a bus driver, or if you're gonna be, you know, working in, you know, in, I don't know, working at a grocery store or whatever. If you know you're gonna be working at these jobs and you wanna make these a career, why in the world are you taking those classes? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. You could be taking classes. Look, okay, here's one for you. This is one of my biggest ones in high school. I really believe kids should be taught about investments, investing stock options, uh, mutual funds, IRAs, Roth IRAs. I mean, they, they, need, they need to be taught these things. How to invest your money. Man, if I knew how to invest my money when I was making really good money when I was 18, 19 years old, man, <laughs> I would be set for life. I mean, I would have had to make some sacrifices, obviously, but I, I would, I, if I knew how to do it when I was that young, dear Lord, I mean, I'm doing it now. <laughs> I've been doing it since the age of 30, but I mean, still, if I had known I was like 18, 19, I would have millions now, literally millions. I just don't understand why high schools are so prehistoric in their mindset of you have to take, you have to take English three and you have to take, you know, you have to take algebra two and you have to take geometry. Yeah, geometry is gonna do you a lot of good as a, I don't know, uh, how about, <laughs> yeah, how about as a financial investor? Yeah, geometry is going to do you a lot of good there. Finding the square, uh, fi find the surface area of a cone is going to do you a lot of good. And when you're out there in the financial markets, yeah, it's going to do you a ton of good. Best of luck to you on that. Anyway, trade schools. I am all in favor of trade schools. And that's what, kind of what this feels like. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the song itself. I'm gonna get back to that. No, nope, no, I'm not. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay right here on it. In the comments, people were telling me a lot about what to expect. The other thing I saw in the comments I thought was really entertaining was, DH is gonna hate this. DH is gonna just be appalled by this. DH is gonna. He's he's not gonna enjoy this. He's not gonna have fun. He's he's not gonna be entertained. And you guys are right. 
you, you guys are absolutely right. Most of the time. Not this time. Believe it or not, I had a good time with this. I actually enjoyed this. Now, call me a sadist, but part of the reason I was so entertained by this was, listen, and I know, I know I'm going to get flack for saying this, but guys, honest to God, I'm being serious here. Part of the reason I enjoyed this as much as I did was I enjoyed watching the girls break down and cry on stage. I did. Call me a sadist. Go ahead. Call me a sadist if you want. There's a reason for it. Not just for the pure pleasure of watching, you know, girls cry. I'm not, I'm not that much of an a-hole, but, but I did enjoy listening to the girls break down and cry. I did enjoy watching the girls break down and cry and how quickly, despite that fact, they were able to compose themselves, push through, fight through it and finish their performance. They didn't let it get to them so much that they were not able to perform. Guys, that right there is a huge, huge sign of professionalism. They're going to finish the show. They're not gonna let their emotions get the better of them. They're not gonna let their emotions interfere with doing the best job they possibly can. And they push through and they finish the performance. Guys, you gotta give props for that. I mean, like I said, I'm not saying the things I'm saying to be mean. I'm not saying the things I'm saying to be disrespectful. Quite the opposite. I'm paying the girls, all of the girls on that stage, a huge compliment. Um, that is not easy to do. And like I said, during the course of the reaction, they went into this performance knowing that after this performance, it was over and done. Kind of like X Japan with Endless Rain. They knew they knew this was the last song they knew this whole concert they knew after this concert was over they knew that they would never play together again that was it that was it they knew it and they still went out there and they still did it you're asking these girls ages i don't know i'm gonna guess between the ages of 8 and 12 to do the exact same thing go out there knowing that you're gonna be the you're gonna be performing together for the last time go out there and perform up to expectation here's the big difference though between what happened with x japan and what happened with these girls x japan they were at each other's throats toshi man <laughs> he he made some very questionable decisions and uh it <laughs> it was not good um God, the, the, the drummer's name, drawing a blank. Yosh, Yoshi, y Yoshiki. From what I understand, he was gonna he was gonna go over to Toshi and punch him right in the face. He was he knew he was in his head. He was gonna do that. And then as they came together, Toshi uh, Toshi just looked at him, I guess, and Yoshi changed his mind and hugged him instead. Um. <laughs> They were at each other's throats and they were ready to kill each other. This, the girls, it all seems to me, they, over the time that they were together, I don't know how long they were together. It could have been a year, it could have been four years, I, I don't know. But they grew tight. They formed bonds, they formed friendships. And now that's all ending. After this show, you all go your separate ways. Man, I, I, I've i never been put in that position. I can only imagine how rough that would be. And guys, that would be rough, even for me. That would be rough so the fact that these 8 to 12 year old girls are up there performing at that level and not letting their emotions get the best way and don't get me wrong we saw tears we heard cracking and voices sue especially man oof boy that was rough <laughs> but uh you know i like i said i gave her the pass because it's an emotional thing so i get it i absolutely get it i applaud them for getting through it um but it, it was very clear to me though it was very clear to me ah that whole group sue was a rock star she absolutely was she was the one probably rocking out the hardest out of everybody up on that stage um there were a couple others that were kind of hanging with her don't get me wrong but uh no sue stole the show on that she absolutely did uh couldn't help but watch her rocking out as far as the song itself goes it's poppy yeah it's it's you know your your typical hybrid uh, rock and pop J Idol style music wasn't bad. 
It was actually, believe it or not, it was actually kind of catchy. Um, not what I would ever listen to on a regular basis, but I mean, it wasn't a bad listen. So did I hate this? Surprisingly, no, I didn't hate it. And I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to go even a step further. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. I actually enjoyed this. This was fun. It was an experience to watch. Would I ever want to watch it again? I actually might. I actually might watch it again just to watch the girls suffer. No, I'm kidding. That's that's not true. Um, no, overall, like I said, great job on the ladies. Oh, and, and one more thing. Uh, the ladies singing live. Yeah, they were they were all singing live. Yeah, there was track, obviously. I didn't, I didn't see a band on stage. Obviously, there was track, but the vocals, when I, when I saw four girls singing, I heard four voices. When I saw five girls singing, pretty sure I heard five voices. When I saw one girl singing, I heard one voice and one voice alone. Uh, not to me, it sounded live. It absolutely did. Um, so having said all that, surprisingly enough, on a scale of one to 10, <laughs> I'm gonna blow some people's minds. I'm gonna give that an 8.8. .8. Yep, 8.8. .8. Uh, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> No one was more surprised by that score than me. Going into this, knowing what I heard and reading the comments, I thought, like you, I, I thought for sure I was gonna hate this. And I actually, believe it or not, I ended up enjoying it. Not just a little, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So, yeah, 8.8, .8, I feel, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. 8.8, .8, <laughs> I am sub shockingly surprised by that score in a very pleasant way, but that is the score I feel this deserves. And that is where we're going to stay. So, 8.8. <laughs> I still can't believe it. 8.8, .8, final score. I have spoken. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hopefully, I was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job. And I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later, peace.